Now I'm getting somewhere. This is a huge step. All these weights, almost 200 pounds of weights to hold down the flap top skin because we bonded it together, finally. So let's get this off and see how it turned out. When I can see through the top skin where the, there's an epoxy uh, flox mix, so it's structural, and that's what bonded the two halves together. And I can see right through the top skin, pretty much an inch wide at the trailing edge, which that's what it should have been. Oh, I'm so happy about this. That looks amazing. Yeah, so this end has to be trimmed a little bit because it gets bound up on the aileron here. Right there. So that'll have to be trimmed down a little bit. Now I can get to the top of it, like that. Maybe I'll run the bore scope all the way down and I can see what's going on in there. Give me a better idea if it's, if it's all gonna clear. All right, so we got the bore scope. this thing down here. Oh yeah, so right there you can see that the... top edge of the flap is catching that bracket right there. That's what's holding the entire thing up. This edge has to be curled up to the ribs here, but I've got to clean up, uh, looks like some of the flocks that I bonded the two halves together, kind of spilled it a little bit here, so I got to clean some of that up. Our leading edge is done now. It's curled over and tied to these little leading edge ribs that are in here. Just putting some Clecos in just to hold it temporary. And then I'll go back and put some screws in, but this is really a two person job. So it's a little tricky at the moment. Oh, that is beautiful. We have a flap and it's clear all the way down, even in the reflex position. So this is what we're looking at. As the flap comes up, that leading edge has to curl down 
and stay away from the spar up here. I think it's been a week since I've been out here. Uh, we left off with the flap, kind of getting it all set up and making sure that the travel, that it moved within all the travel without binding anywhere. Make sure there was clearance here at the back of the wing. Also including paint that's gonna go on this. So um, it looks pretty good. I've got an even amount of clearance all the way down, even in the reflex position, they look pretty good. I have to trim the rear edge of this just slightly, uh, probably almost an eighth of an inch all the way down, get that nice and straight. This is where I had to make sure there was clearance. When the aileron is deflected down, it, like I say, it, it's on a little bit of an open angle. It doesn't run perpendicular to the hinge, so it kind of encroaches on that flap space. And as the flap goes down, it kind of does the same thing. So as the flap comes up, that gap grows. I've got probably a quarter inch right there in the neutral position. But they both kind of come together when the flaps full down. I still have about a sixteenth of an inch there. Should be good enough to get all my paint in there and not worry about any rubbing. And as either one of them come up, th that gap grows. My next step is to fill the end of this with some foam and um, epoxy and flox or epoxy and micro just so I can finish the end of it out and get paint on there and, and have, it, have it be nice and flat. I don't want to leave that little stepped edge. It just kind of looks unfinished. On the leading edge of the flap here, this had to be curled down to, to get it to clear the back of the wing as it comes up. So I had to put foam ribs in here to get that to curl down. Well, this had taken a set, this top skin had kind of taken a set with it open. And so where I pulled the down between the ribs, it, it didn't get the whole thing perfectly straight. There's a little bit of a dip kind of between these ribs. So I'll have to do a little bit of, of epoxy and micro to fill this some to get the, the entire front. I want that nice and straight. So when the flaps are full down, does it affect it aerodynamically? No, not really. But if I have my flaps down and you look down that wing with a nice clean paint job on, I don't want to see a wave. That pretty much wraps up the flap build on this Lance Air. Uh, this, as you can see, I just closed this end out with some foam. Same on the other end. Um, so it's basically top and bottom is all glued together, bonded. It's got some finish work on the back edge of this. A little bit of body work or smoothing out on the front edge on the, on the curl. Uh, and then a little bit of filling on the foam at the ends. Just like I say, body work. Um, to get it smooth, get the primer so the paint will lay on nice. That's pretty much it for the flaps. I'm happy now. Now I'm getting somewhere.